Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Danica and I'm the Fit Mom Lifestyle on Instagram, LTK, and TikTok. And today I'm here with one of my most exciting videos of the year. These are my fall must-haves for 2023 and I am so excited for fall. Fall is my favorite season, so I know it's a little bit early, but I just wanted to put these things out there for you to start thinking about. A lot of these things always sell out very quickly. You know, come September, everyone's ready for fall. Everyone buying fall things and then you can't get your hands on them so I know we're a bit early but I just want you to be able to get these things if you want them I love all of these things I am so so excited for this upcoming season if you love fall make sure to give this video a thumbs up also hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos I'm gonna be having some really fun vlogs throughout this whole fall season that you won't want to miss so let's get into my top recommendations Okay, one of my favorite things to do for any new season is to switch up my bag. And I'm very excited about this new bag that I got for this fall season. This is actually from Teddy Blake, and I'm so excited to be working with them on this video. Look at this box. I literally got this delivered to my door. It was in a huge box. I was like, what did I order? I totally forgot, and I wasn't thinking that it was gonna be like presented so nicely. I opened the box, and I was so, so excited. So let me get this out for you. Um, it's so so nice it says teddy blake new york designer handbags made in italy luxury leather and i open this and it just smells so good it's like nice handbags and like my husband's cowboy boots i'm like oh you can just smell the leather like you know what i mean i was like yep this this is really nice so it comes in this dust bag and i decided to get one of my favorite colors for fall as well so here's what the bag looks like and let's pull this out isn't this so beautiful okay let me get it up close for you so you can see look at how beautiful I love the gold hardware it does say Teddy Blake New York right there and I just think this is so beautiful I literally was so excited when this showed up I was like oh my gosh I need to switch into this right now because this is so so beautiful so let's talk about it let me open it up so I can show you the inside as well Okay, so while I'm opening the bag, I did want to show you, you kind of like lift here to open, but this is the GG Stampato 13 inch. This is in the gold hardware, like I said, and this is the color Bordeaux, which is just so, so beautiful for fall and winter. So you kind of have to lift here. I just want to show you because at first I wasn't sure how to get into it. And then you open the bag and lift the tab here. So they do have a ton of different designs. So if this maybe isn't an ideal design for you, um, there's so many different bags on the website. They also come out with a new collection every single month. So I was really excited to kind of like browse the website, see what was available, see what was coming soon because they do kind of tease it sometimes as well. Um, but so you open this up, which is really great if you maybe live in a city or you just want your bag very secure. This would be something like if you're taking public transportation or something and you just want it like, you know, closed very securely. So what's really nice, like I said, it's got the premium leather. It smells amazing. I still have um, everything kind of stuffed in here from when it was delivered, but this does have a crossbody strap, which is really great as well because you can carry it with the top handle or you can add the strap. And again, the same beautiful color with the gold hardware. And then it is just a large bag. I'm going to take all this paper out and it has one um, side zippered pocket. So you can kind of see in there, you definitely can fit quite a few things in there. I carry in the summer um, my Lululemon crossbody bag. So I'm used to traveling light in the summer, but then come the fall, I always add like more things to my bag and this will just be really handy. What's also great is if I'm vlogging, which I tend to do more in like the fall and around the holidays, I can throw my camera in the bag and it just fits so many more things. As a toddler mom, I can throw my son's snacks in there, little things like that. So this is just the perfect size. I was also thinking that that this would be really great for work. I wouldn't put a laptop in here, um, but you could definitely do like an iPad or Kindle or something like that. So very, very beautiful bag. I'm really excited to have this. Um, you also can, I just wanted to show you, if you don't want to deal with um, unlatching, you can kind of like tuck this in here, which is how I will probably have it a lot of the time, just because it allows me to easily open and close, but you can secure it, you know, um, if needed. So 
really really love this this is what the bottom looks like just so beautiful also a really great gift idea and what's really nice is this is luxury at a more affordable price so very excited to have this as part of my bag collection very excited to use it this fall and winter season i think this is so beautiful i don't own a bag in this beautiful burgundy color so I'm really excited and highly recommend checking out Teddy Blake. They have so many beautiful different handbags. Okay, now sticking with accessories, another thing that I love to switch up every season is my scent. So for today, I have one of my favorite perfume sets that I love to pick up every fall and winter. I buy multiple of these because I put some in my car, my purse, have them at home. I love these. So this is the replica Maison Margiela set. This comes with Jazz Club by the Fireplace and Autumn Vibes. I love all of these scents. I also had one, I think last year's version had Coffee Break in it, which is how I got to try Coffee Break. And now I have a large Coffee Break because I love it. I also think I have a large by the Fireplace. So these are so great like i said i'll keep one in my purse i'll have one kind of like on my nightstand one at my desk at work and then i always like to have a backup i really like having travel sizes especially if you switch out your perfume every season because then it'll last you know the duration of the season and then come the next season you can either repurchase or buy a different scent um also my husband will wear jazz club and by the fireplace i don't think he's ever tried autumn vibes but i do have that one as well um but he'll wear the other two and they're just such beautiful relaxing fall scents if you've never smelled these i highly recommend maybe going into like your local sephora because they generally have these out to smell and they're so so nice so you can also get any one of these individually you can buy them in this pack which i recommend i really love um this just, oh my gosh, this just makes me so excited because, you know, you get the weather and you get the food, but like the, the scent, like the perfume scent is just, I just love it. It's just another thing that just really gets you in the fall mood. So very excited about this. This is currently available at Nordstrom. Like I said, you can get them in the larger sizes as well, or you can get them individually, but I highly recommend if you've never tried these scents, this is a great one to try. If you love any of these scents, this is a great set to try. So really, really love this. Um, I also love to switch up a lip color. So right now I wear a lot of Iconic Nude by Charlotte Tilbury. That lip liner is one of my favorites. That's kind of like a year round lip liner for me. I also really love Pillow Talk, which I know is super popular. But I have some other Charlotte Tilbury products here that I really love for the fall. I really didn't realize, but Charlotte Tilbury is one of my favorite lip brands. Like that is what I grab for the most. So the first one that I want to talk about, this is Pillow Talk Medium. And I grabbed this small set from Sephora. So it comes with the mini lipstick and the mini liner. And actually I have the liner on right now with the gloss over top. And this is very similar to Pillow Talk, but it is just a little bit deeper. And I really, really love it for fall. I think this is such a beautiful color. So I always do it like at the wrong spot on my hand. But there's Pillow Talk Medium. Again, you can get the mini set at Sephora or you can get them, you know, you can obviously buy them full size as well at Sephora, Nordstrom. Um, so I'll link some of them below. But Again, I like getting mini versions of things so that I can switch them out more often. Also, these are really great to throw in your purse if you're going to like an event or something. This is perfect. And then the other Charlotte Tilbury one that I have, this is very Victoria. This is a little bit more of like a brown nudie color if you are not as into the pinks. Definitely still has, it definitely still has pink, don't get me wrong, but it's a little bit more um, brown. So this is very Victoria and then this is Pillow Talk Medium. So you can see the two colors there. These are just some of my favorites. Very Victoria is so good and pairs with so many different um, looks as well. So highly recommend. I really, really love Charlotte Tilbury lip products. Apparently it's my favorite. When I was going through and looking, um, I just realized how many I have. So really love those. Obviously, like I said, I love Iconic Nude. I can never go wrong with that lip liner. It's a good go-to for me. So I'll link that one below as well. 
The next thing, this is not really like an accessory, but this is kind of the best category for it to fit in. Um, I grabbed a new book. This is not new by any means. I'm sure a lot of you have read it, but I wanted like a thriller, kind of like creepy, exciting book for the fall. So I grabbed Verity. I'm thinking I'm going to get through this pretty quick because I've heard so many good things about this. I just picked it up at Target, 20% off. You know, you can't go wrong with that. I'm really excited to dig into this. Um, the only Colleen Hoover books that I've read so far is it ends with us and it starts with us. So I'm really excited to read this. I've heard so many good things. I know it's a little creepy. So I felt like this is kind of a fun like fall Halloween vibe. And also kind of on that note, as far as like shows and movies, during the fall I love watching all of the Harry Potter movies. I don't know why it's kind of become like a tradition every fall we get through all the movies and then some of the shows I really love the newest one to me is Virgin River I really started watching that last fall and really loved it and I think there's a new season coming soon so I'm excited for that show I also love Vampire Diaries every fall I love to watch that and we need to get back into it because we kind of like got halfway through last fall and then stopped and then started Christmas movies so we need to get back into that um and then also Gilmore Girls is such a good fall show so let me know down below if there's any other fall shows that you really love. You know, like light shows to have on in the background or shows that you love to go back to because that's always fun as well. So really excited to dig into that book and let's get into some clothes. Okay, so the first clothing item that is such a staple for me in the fall is a Free People sweater. And I'm currently wearing a Free People sweater. This is one of my favorites. This one is actually the cropped version. I also have the longer version of this exact sweater in black and burgundy. I wanna pick it up in a couple more colors because the longer version is so great to pair it with like leather leggings um, or and really any bottoms. This one I like to wear more with jeans. And I just love a Free People sweater. I feel like you can never go wrong. They're so classic, they hold up so well. I've had my longer ones for I think five years now. This one I got last fall, and then the one that I just got um, during the Nordstrom anniversary sale, I grabbed this one, which I absolutely love. Free People sweaters are a little inconsistent. So this one, I have a medium, the larger, like the longer ones in this specific, specific version, I have smalls and mediums. This one I got a small, and then I also grabbed another Free People um, sweater, cropped sweater, in the Nordstrom Anniversary sale, and I actually sized up to a large. So honestly, I can go anywhere between small to large in Free People tops. I know that's not very helpful, but generally, if it's cropped, I go with a medium or a large, depending on how I want it to fit, and then if it's longer, I usually go with a small or a medium, because those tend to run oversized. So I hope that helps. If between sizes in the... Um, cropped versions I go up or true to size and if between sizes in the longer versions I go down or true to size so hopefully that helps so like I said this one is in a medium but this one is in a small and um, I really love them again they're so soft they're such high quality and I really love this cable knit one I think this will be so beautiful for Thanksgiving I could just see this with like a burgundy lip and some Uggs and just be cozy. I don't know about you, but my family is pretty casual for Thanksgiving and I just thought this would be so perfect, so beautiful and so comfy. And I just love this color. It just screams like pumpkin spice or cinnamon and I absolutely love. So highly recommend investing in a free people sweater. I don't think you'll regret it. Like I said, mine have held up for years. I absolutely love. And then a couple other pieces that I've had for years. This is something that I do like to buy every year or every two years and I couldn't go video without talking about Lululemon so these are the Lululemon Align leggings I get these in the 25 inch I get them in a size 6 and obviously these are in the color black so like I said I do like to usually buy a new pair every year or every other year I don't think that's completely necessary I have um, a pair that's maybe like four years old now that's pretty pretty worn so it really just depends on how often you're wearing them and how you're washing them I wear mine at least once a week like wear and wash at least once a week so maybe I'm wearing them like you know a couple times in between there but I wear mine so so often 
I also have a lot of colors but I just grab my black and what I was thinking for you if you're kind of just getting started it's super helpful to just have a pair of black aligned leggings you can throw it on with this sweater you can throw it on with this sweater you can throw it on with a sweatshirt you know they're just such an easy grab and go piece for the fall and winter that it's just such a staple in your wardrobe and the aligned leggings really are the best in my opinion now I personally wash them inside out on cold and hang to dry that's how I found that they last really really well over time and again I have quite a few pair so I kind of just like add another black one to my collection about every fall so really love these highly recommend they're so comfortable buttery soft naked sensation if between sizes on these again you've got some flexibility here so if you want them a little bit more compressive go down though that's not necessarily how they're intended to fit they're supposed to feel like a second skin a naked sensation so i recommend going with your true size you can size up but i personally like to get my true size six if i size up to an eight i feel like they kind of bunch a little bit in my opinion but that being said, you do have some flexibility. I could wear a four, a six, or an eight. I just think the six fits the best. So that's my opinion on sizing on these. And one more Lululemon item. Now I know it's crazy because it's still so early, but this item sells out every single year. So if you are interested in it, I do recommend grabbing it while it's available. So this is the Wonder Puff Cropped Vest from Lululemon. I wore this so much last fall and winter. I love this so much. So it has a zipper and it has buttons. It also has a hood, but I almost always have my hood off because I usually layer a sweatshirt like or a hoodie under. So you can just snap the hood back in. I just store mine in the closet. And I personally wash this on my own. I don't wash it too often, but again, I wash it on cold, delicate, and hang to dry, and I haven't had any problems with it. It also does have a cinch here at the waist, so you can kind of like pull it in and have it fit closer to your body. But these are so nice. I think I'm going to invest in the cropped uh, jacket this year. I only own the cropped vest. I live in Southern California, so it doesn't get too cold here but it would be helpful to have the cropped vest sometimes we travel and we do go to colder climates so I feel like that would be really nice to have and I just absolutely love this um, I personally size down one to an eight so for Lululemon tops I always start with a size 10 and go up or down from there and with the vest I prefer a size 8 fit I feel like it fits me fine I have plenty of room for a sweatshirt under but it's not too boxy I feel like the 10 was just a little too boxy a little too much fabric so I highly recommend these are so great really worth the investment this looks brand new to me in my opinion and I wore it so often last year so I think this was such a good buy. I absolutely love and very excited to wear it again this year. Um, again, I do wear it with just like shirts under, like long sleeve shirts, or I'll layer sweaters or sweatshirts under. So just a really, really great piece. Okay, now moving on to shoes, let's talk about my most worn, which is why I needed to repurchase. I got my pair of these probably like two years ago and they're pretty worn so i invested in a new pair this year and again this is another thing that likely will sell out so these are the ultra mini uggs i got them in my true size eight i think that they fit a little snug at first but then as i wear them you know the fabric kind of wears down and then they fit perfectly i personally i love the chestnut color but i really like the black to wear with like my align leggings i think they look really cute together I also really love the ultra mini because I feel like sometimes with the regular Uggs they're just kind of like clunky and heavy whereas with these I feel like I'm leaving the house in a slipper like they don't feel too big they don't feel too heavy and they're just so comfy so cozy so warm these are really great if you're in a cooler climate like I said I already own the black pair but they're pretty beat up so um, I thought it was time for a new pair and then I'll probably use those like when we go to the mountains or if we're ever like you know in a colder like snowier climate obviously you don't want to wear them out in the snow necessarily but you know if there's salt on the ground or whatever I'm not gonna worry about the older ones as much getting ruined and these ones will be like my nicer newer ones so really love these 
I wear these all the time. Once it gets a little bit colder, I will wear these basically like nonstop. Um, when I take my son to school, I usually will wear something in the car um, while I'm driving and then dropping him off at school. And then once I get to work, I put on like my work shoes. And so once it gets cold enough, this will be like honestly what I will be wearing nonstop, which is why my other ones are so beat up because I wear these like around the clock. But once I get home, I usually switch into UGG uh, slippers. Now, I had these ones last year, um, but I didn't really wear them. I kind of just wore them like around the house, like upstairs and stuff. So these ones are honestly like practically new, but I did get these ones. I really like these. I think these are kind of um, coming back in stock now. I know the chestnut ones were sold out for a little while, so I'll link whatever is available. Again, I found these on the UGG website, Nordstrom. I saw some on Victoria's Secrets website. Like, if you look, you can find, you can for sure find the UGGs. Um, but I do really like these, and I like, clearly I like a black pair. Again, I know the chestnut is super popular, but I do really like a black. But I did also get these chestnut Uggs in the Nordstrom anniversary sale this year. Really love these. I size up actually. So I did say I get my Ultra Mini Uggs in a, an 8, which is my true size. But in both of these platform Ugg slippers, I size up to a 9 because I want more room at the back. I noticed with these, my heel was slipping off the back. And then with these, you have this kind of like... Um, I don't know this you have to like kind of step into it so I wanted a little bit more room so I really love these I will wear these out like you can wear these out but I personally wear these more around the house like I said these ones I didn't wear as much last year because I had um, another pair of slippers that I was wearing a lot so I'm excited to wear these more um, and I also like to take these when we go to stay in hotels or something because they're basically like shoes I mean you can definitely wear them out but they're also so comfortable and you know slippers so love these these are some of my favorites now this is new to me and I'd love to know your opinion down below because I'm still unsure about these so like I said when I take my son to school when I'm running my errands basically I live in my ultra mini Uggs once it gets cold enough but we're not quite there yet and I feel like I don't really want to be wearing like my rainbow um, flip-flops or I usually wear like in the summer I'll wear my rainbow flip-flops or my Lululemon rest feel slides. So I kind of have like a shoe for each season that I basically live in. So summer it's the flip-flops and the slides and then winter and like fall is the Uggs. So I got the Boston clogs. I felt like this was a good in-between for kind of like my everyday shoe. I know this is such a polarizing shoe. <laughs> so here's what they look like. This is the taupe. And again, this is something that I was debating getting in the taupe or the black because I just feel like the black always looks so good with leggings because I wear a lot of black leggings. But I've seen so many people style the taupe color with denim. So... I kind of just thought these would be, again, cute shoes to have for when I'm driving, when I'm running errands, when I'm kind of just like running out real quick or going to be out in public for just a little while, you know what I mean? Um, and I just, I, I have a pair of Birkenstock sandals that I haven't really like, I haven't really broken them in. I haven't really like embraced them yet. And I got them last summer and I've worn them a few times, but I haven't gotten to the point where they're like so, so comfy. And I know people love these and recommend. So let me know down below, what's your opinion on the Boston clogs? Are you yay or nay? Um, I'm, I'm still deciding, but I think they're really cute. I just, I think that these are going to be my in between like fall shoes. So I'm excited to like style them and like, play around with them and wear them but again like I said they're gonna kind of be my like driving shoe and my shoe for when I'm just kind of running out of my car real quick so I don't know I'd love to know what you think about them and maybe once I get some more ideas and see more outfit inspo I'll be more inspired to style them more for fall but let me know down below so the last category that I want to talk about is home and I got a new exciting home product that 
I am really excited to test out. I've only heard good things about. And again, while this is not a strictly fall item, I feel like with every new season, I kind of like set new goals, new intentions. And I think that this is kind of a cool thing for that. So I got the Hatch Restore Alarm. And first of all, this is so beautiful. I'm so excited to have this on my nightstand. I just have like a very standard alarm clock, which is not aesthetic whatsoever, but I think this is going to be so beautiful. So we have only had good experience with Hatch. I personally have never had a Hatch alarm, but my son has two Hatch sound machines. So we have one right now actually in our bedroom and one in his bedroom. We used, you know, he would sleep with us a while ago and we just never um, took the one out of our room. So we use it occasionally, but we've had really good experiences with Hatch. Let me know if you'd like to see like a follow-up on this. I'm sure I'll include it in some of my upcoming vlogs because I'm really excited to set it up. I'm really excited to try it out. And if you haven't, like if you don't know anything about this, it basically kind of syncs to your sleep routine. So you can um, set it all up on your phone and it's got like a wind down feature, a relax feature, a sleep feature, and then you can set your alarm and it mimics like a sunrise. So it does like a natural kind of like light as you're waking up as opposed to like a blaring alarm. So I think this will be really cool. It says Restore helps you build a personal bedtime routine with sleep sounds, a reading light, and a sunrise alarm to help you fall asleep, stay asleep, and wake up gently. So I have been really focusing on self-care. I recently got my Aura Ring. If you haven't seen my Aura Ring review, um, I got this over the summer. And I've just been kind of like trying to learn more about my body and take care of my body. And like I said, I want to get more into reading. So I feel like kind of having a better nighttime routine where I wind down because right now I just like hurry, go to bed, hurry, get up. Like I don't take things slow enough. So very excited about this. And the next thing is it wouldn't be a fall must-haves video without candles. So I'm going to show you some of my favorites. This first one is from Voluspa. This is the Spice Pumpkin Latte Candle. I really love Voluspa candles and I've kind of gotten into them the last year or so. We went up to a cabin um, last Thanksgiving and I actually bought this exact candle and took it up to the cabin. And so the smell of this candle reminds me of last Thanksgiving. It's so good. I mean, if you don't like pumpkin, obviously you're probably not going to like this, but I don't think this is too sweet. It's obviously sweet. It's pumpkin spice latte, but I don't think it's like that sickeningly sweet smell. Do you know what I mean? Um, I don't know if it has a description. No, it doesn't say anything on here, but I really love this and um, Voluspa candles are really great. They have a ton of different scents, obviously. The next one that I really like, this is from Nest. This is Autumn Plum. And this one is so nice as well. I also got like a little bit bigger candles because I feel like I have so many of the mini candles, um, like this really mini ones or like the single wick ones. So I kind of wanted to invest in some like nicer ones that will really last a while. So this one is so good. Um, again, this one is Autumn Plum. It doesn't have a description here, but... Um, these are beautiful nest candles as well. I also actually have an anthropology haul coming up where I grabbed um, a few candles from there. So stay tuned for that. I got some really great ones there. And then of course I had to share Bath and Body. This is so funny. I just realized my Voluspa one is orange. My nest one is purple. And then the two Bath and Body ones that I have are also orange and purple. So I have spiced pumpkin and patchouli. This one says rich pumpkin, warm patchouli, a touch of cinnamon sugar. And I just really love the three wick candles from Bath and Body. Like this is, this is just fall. This is fall in a nutshell. You know what I mean? Um, and then this one is cranberry woods. This is tart cranberry, cinnamon bark, forest cedar, golden amber. So these are just some of the ones that I picked up this year. Again, clearly I really love like pumpkin and I love woody scents as well. So very excited about those. I did also want to mention if you're not into candles, which I know there's all, you know, there's issues with candles, but 
I also really love essential oils and I personally use Young Living essential oils and Thieves is obviously a really popular, if you know anything about Young Living, Thieves is like their kind of like most popular scent. They do all their cleaning products with these. This has like a cinnamony, cinnamony smell. Um, this one also kind of smells like Christmas. Some of these translate to Christmas as well, um, but I also have lavender which is just such a good one so we diffuse these we have a diffuser we have two diffusers downstairs one in the kitchen one in the living room um and then we have one in our bedroom one in my son's bedroom my husband has a diffuser at work and i have a diffuser at work so we really do love diffusers as well i also have eucalyptus and i do um diffuse like obviously some of these when we're going to bed but like right now with our diffuser i have um like citrus, grapefruit, lemon, and citronella. So I've been diffusing those a lot during the summer. Um, and then I have pine. And then um, this is a new one. This is the Palo Santo. I have this one downstairs as well, one that's already open. And then we also have a Thieves Rollerball. This one is almost out. I need to get another one. But this also helps with keeping us healthier in the fall and winter. We'll rub this on the bottom of our feet. So I'll put this on the bottom of my feet after my shower, at the bottom of my son's feet, and this helps us stay healthy. So love essential oils. If you're not into candles, those are a great option as well. All right, so that is it for my fall must-haves video. I hope that you enjoyed, and if you did, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much to Teddy Blake for working with me on today's video, and if there's anything that you think I missed that you want me to try for fall, please let me know. Again, stay tuned for my upcoming vlogs. I'm so excited for the fall season, so lots of content coming, and I'll see you in my next video.